A mother whose premature twins died while she lay in a coma following a tragic ambulance mix-up has led the tributes among mourners at her daughter's funeral. Jocelyn Bennett, 27, attended the service for her children Melody and Rose Clark at Lodge Hill Crematorium in Birmingham yesterday in a wheelchair. She was allowed out of hospital especially for the service, which comes after she spent 18 days in a coma only to be told upon regaining consciousness that her daughters had passed away. Wearing her favorite color red, she was wheeled behind the twins' tiny coffins as they were carried to the crematorium in a white horse-drawn princess carriage. White teddy bears were placed inside the carriage along with matching floral tributes. A card showing a picture of Ms. Bennett and her partner Kevin, 31, cradling their tragic twins simply read, God bless you Melody and Rose. Reverend Denise Jones, who led the service, paid tribute to Melody and Rose saying they were two very very special baby girls. She told the 50 strong congregation. They were much loved and wanted twin girls and baby sisters to little Slater. The last few weeks have been a journey of great courage, determination, and faith. The loss of our children is the most painful thing to ever have to experience in our lives. Melody and Rose touched the hearts of all of us here today as well as the community and world, and they have left behind a beautiful legacy of love. Hymns All Things Bright and Beautiful and Lord of the Dance were sang by the congregation who all dressed in bright colors on the request of Ms. Bennett. Mourners were played somewhere over the rainbow at the end of the 40-minute ceremony. The babies were delivered by emergency caserine, while Ms. Bennett fought for life after collapsing at her home in Druids Heath, Birmingham. She was 32 weeks pregnant when she called 999 early in the morning of October 29 after suffering suffered a placental abruption. When paramedics arrived 12 minutes later at 5.51 am, she was in such pain that she could not press the door buzzer to let them in. Tragically, her neighbors refused to buzz the ambulance crew into the council-run tower block because they thought the blue flashing lights were from police vans about to raid the flats. When police finally arrived to let the paramedics in, they found Ms. Bennett lying unconscious on the floor of flat 13 minutes after her initial 999 call. She was rushed to hospital where 4 pounds 1 ounces Melody and 3 pounds Rose were born by emergency caserine. Tragically, while Ms. Bennett slipped into a coma, her baby daughters suffered multi-organ failure and their life support was switched off. They passed away on November 4th. The devastated father of Bennett, Joe, 54, said yesterday, This has been a tragic time for Jocelyn and everybody in the family. We are grateful for all the support and glad Jocelyn was able to attend the service. There are still questions which need answering as to why the paramedics were unable to get to Jocelyn sooner but today is about saying goodbye to Rose and Melody. Following their deaths, Mr. Bennett wrote a poem for each of the girls. He previously told how neighbors in the block of flats refused to answer their buzzers to police following a recent raid. If any residents see flashing blue lights they don't answer their calls because they fear it'll be another raid. No one answered their buzzers when the paramedics tried them. There are vulnerable people living in that building and the council has a duty of care for them. I bet a system needs to be in place. Birmingham City Council is investigating why paramedics were unable to gain access to Ms. Bennett's home in Pleck House. I spokesman for Birmingham City Council said, we have systems to provide emergency access to our blocks for the emergency services and an urgent investigation was commissioned as soon as we were made aware of the matter. News reported a false accident that said there was unknown old man tried to put a new object in their mouth and this wasn't true. The old man that was there was their grandpa.